Hello, this is Dwayne. I'm working out back. I'm working on that 454 and I'm going to swap out that camshaft one more time. In my opinion, this thumper cam just runs too low a vacuum to be a good street cam. This 11600-8 thumper cam for the big block, I think just has a little too, too much overlap. Uh, the lobe separation of 107 degrees and the duration with five inches of vacuum it's just not very straightable. I want the RPM to max out by 5,800 RPM to stay very well on the safe side. These heads flow very well up to a five, 500 thousandths lift. 600 thousandths, they start to drop off between the efficiency of the exhaust and the intake. So I'm gonna stay around 510. So it has a 2,000 used stall converter and I wanna get uh, up to about 5,800 RPM after looking through all these camshafts, I think I've sort of decided on which one to get. So I think I'm choosing this 423 uh, camshaft that works between 1900 and 5600, which is just shy of the stall and just short of the, the red line. All right, guys, I'm giving up on this camshaft. This truck is supposed to be for a guy that doesn't work on the engines and it needs to be driven to work and back and out to the bar or whatever and be sort of dependable. But well, with this camshaft, I'm having to run this brake booster, or well, this booster for the brake booster. I'm only getting five inches of vacuum. I'm having a hard time getting it to idle like a street engine. I hate to give up on it, but uh, this is not gonna make a very good street engine for a guy that, that just wants to drive it. I'm gonna order another cam. And I think I might, I've got a camshaft, I think it's 11423-8 in, in the shopping cart. The stall converter is 2,000. The most I need to spin the engine is about 6,000 RPM. It'll probably never see that, but figure uh, that 1,900 to 5,600 RPM camshaft, 510 lift, uh, 110 lobe separation. I think it'll do better than this 107. Plus this had a lot of duration and no vacuum. The most vacuum I've seen it have is 15. If you get the ignition down below 54 degrees, if you get it down to close to idle, uh, it only has five inches of vacuum. 2000 RPM, it has 10 inches. I've driven it, drove it forward and back right here. There's not much power brakes to it. I don't think it has the vacuum to operate the power brakes too well. Maybe after you get going down the road or something and let off the gas, it might build enough vacuum in here to be all right. But just to start it up, go to work in the morning, it ain't going to be too good pulling out of the, the trailer house parking lot. He lives in a trailer park. I'm going to start draining the fluids and getting this thing ready to pull down. I think I'm going to do it in the truck. Oh, something else, this radiator, and I didn't know this. <clears throat> I thought, see, the truck had an overheating problem, which is probably the clogged block that it had. But this radiator is not cooling off the way I wanted it to either. And I thought the more cores, the better it is. But what I've been seeing is a four-core radiator, and that's what this is, doesn't have the cooling surface that a two-core has. This core heats this core up, and this core heats this core up. And it, by the time you get to the fourth core... It's all heated up and not losing as much heat as a two core. And I'm gonna get another radiator, a two core, and put a two core radiator in here, along with a more straightable camshaft, I do believe. So it's starting to get a little nicer out here. Today, I think it's supposed to get in the 50s eventually. All right, now it's about, I don't know, 41. Monday's supposed to get in the 70s and then a little warmer than that on Tuesday and Wednesday, so. By the time the parts come in with this, I'll be ready to put the camshaft back in it. So the next couple of days, I'll be pulling this apart and getting ready for another new camshaft. Stay tuned for another new cam. <laughs> I know. Where are we going to go in the fourth? First startup. Uh, maybe by the next week. Okay, I'm getting rid of this voltmeter gauge. And I think I got the same gosh darn one. Looks identical. Let's see if it works. That's where that's showing, 12.8 or so. Well, 12.63. Let me look at that again. Maybe it did say 12.6. Looks like 12.8 to me, but that's that's a lot better than saying 15. Okay, there's the new gauge. Here's the old one. 
I'm gonna get the antifreeze and drain it. I'm gonna drain it from the side of the block. And while that's going, I'm gonna change these back out to the standard plates. And I'm gonna change the model jets back to 32s instead of these 39s. Get ready for that smaller camshaft. I think I might go ahead and cut that mechanical advance top off of the distributor also. Ah, well, that didn't work out right. See that puddle? Well, I was gonna pull the plugs out of the side of the engine block. And I was gonna use this fitting with these hoses and put it straight into these bottles. Well, I was up in there and I got the plug out. And then immediately it started filled the sleeve of my coat up all the way to the shoulder with really cold antifreeze. I had to run in here and throw my coat in the washer real fast because the sleeve is completely soaked with antifreeze. I think all I have is this little jean jacket and that's not enough. I don't have any heavy coats. Alright, I'll siphon it out. It's a little cold out here with no coat. My coat has 30 more minutes. Well, with my 30 minutes, I think I'll uh, keep an eye on these. Get them filled up with antifreeze. Go in here and edit this video a little bit. Let you guys know what's up. Wash that antifreeze up so the little Bonnie don't drink any of it. She hasn't ever drank any before, but you never know. I'd hate to kill my little dog. So I'll take it easy here doing what I do and uh, I'll get those parts ordered. I was thinking about waiting on you guys to uh, put your put your opinion in on a new camshaft, but I really need to get it ordered and get it on its way. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday can be really nice. I'm gonna go in and order the cam and edit this video, get it out to you, let you know what's up. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.